did you know what Islamic State were doing when you left for Syria? Because they had beheaded people, there were executions. Yeah, I knew about those things, and I was, I was okay with it at first because, you know, I want, I, st I started becoming religious, religious just before I left, and you know, from what I heard that Islamically that is all allowed, so I was okay with it. You didn't question that. No, no. Okay. Yeah. There's a struggle going on in the UK now at home about whether you should be allowed to come home or not. You know that, do you? Yeah. Okay. What is, what are your feelings about that? I think a lot of people should have like sympathy towards me for everything I've been through. You know, when I, when I, I, I didn't know what I was getting into when I left, and I just was hoping that maybe, me for the sake of me and my child. That, they let me come back. Okay. Because I can't live in this camp forever. It's not really possible. I never did anything dangerous. I never made propaganda. I never encouraged people to come to Syria. So they don't really have proof that I did anything that is dangerous.